Hello, everyone, and welcome to MT4 Professional. My name is Randy Lindsay. I'm today's host and uh, your coach for today. We're going to be talking about trading strategies using MT4 Professional Scanner. I want to make sure everyone knows that we are here for educational purposes only, that, I'll, I mean, that MT4 Professional and Resilient Traders are not an investment advisory service, and we're not registered to give you specific advice. But what we can do is teach and train you how to <clears throat> use our platform on the live edge of the market. Trading with futures, stocks, forex options, cryptocurrency has a large potential for rewards, but also has a large potential for risk. You must be aware of the risk involved and be willing to accept them in order to trade or invest in any of these markets. Past performance is not indicative of future results, so please get advice from a competent financial advisor before you start trading or investing in any of these markets. And never trade with money that you cannot afford to lose. Never, ever, ever trade in a live account until you have first proven that you can consistently and profitably trade a simulated account. And only then will you start to work on the mind game. Again, I'm Randy Lindsay, your trade coach today and operations director here at Resilient Traders, uh, MT4 Professional. Claudio Cardinal is also our product development director and technology guru. He's not able to make it today because he's vacationing up in the Alps, but uh, my hat off to him uh, as uh, they're having a great time there. But I'm here with you today, so we'll make sure that uh, I answer all of your questions. And if you do have a question or comment, then make sure you put them into the chat box there on the Zoom control panel. Or if you want to use the question and answer panel, you can use that one as well. I have both of them up and I can respond to either one to in today's live presentation. We are going to talk about trading strategies using MT4 Professional. Hopefully, you have this is your first time. Most people that come to these classes uh, on a weekly or biweekly basis are first time users who are just interested in finding out more about the platform and about how to use the scanner to search for potential setups. And so that's what I'm going to cover the strategies that we use to look for and to set up in MT4 Professional to help us to trade. So that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about what a market scanner is, how we use it within MT4 Professional. We're going to give you a live demonstration and make you a very special offer toward the end of today's presentation, uh, just for, to say thank you for being uh, part of my um, webinar. So let's go right into it. Um, a lot of different strategies that are available today. Um, the most popular one I've found are people that use pure price action and moving averages, uh, probably an exponential moving average uh, coupled with price action. This is just a simple example to show the basics of scanning and understanding price action and um, interaction with uh, indicators. The next one is the MACD and signal. This is probably the most used of the, of the indicators because it can give you entry and exit signals based upon convergence and divergence uh, indications. Uh, you got moving average crossovers. Um, there's a, it's a whole world of uh, information right there just on using different uh, speeds and different uh, temp periods of uh, moving averages. And so how moving averages interact with each other it can give you a world of information as well. And then if you put all of them together, like say in a strategy that involves price action, uh, convergence, divergence, even relative strength, um, you have a, a whole lot of uh, data that you can crunch together into a single strategy uh, to give you a strong buy or sell signal. You have the ever popular alligator plus many, many more. Um, the MT4 professional scanner can scan in real time all of these strategies uh, and alert you when the conditions are met for favorable trade conditions. So what is a market scanner then, and what is MT4 Professional? Well, if you consider all of the Forex pairs available to you uh, on the platform, 50 different Forex pairs, 20 CFDs, nine time frames, that's more than 630 combinations to look for potential trade setups. If you're following one strategy alone with that many instruments, that's a lot of combinations. And the normal person really isn't able to do that manually. Uh, most often you miss opportunities and you'll hit or miss uh, a few trades here and there based upon your ability to look and to scan. 
Uh, some people can scan a little bit better than others, but for the most part, um, you're not going to hit all 630. If you really want to be profitable in today's environment, you need to trade with a diversified basket using different instruments. It's the diversification and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the ability to trade these uncorrelated instruments is really important uh, to remove uncertainty in the markets and to give you a well-balanced, well-rounded portfolio. So a perfect solution for finding these types of trades is a market scanner. A market scanner, in my opinion, <clears throat> is an automatic tool that allows you to scan the entire market for uh, any symbols or timeframes based on your own custom rules following your strategies using any standard or custom indicators at your uh, disposal. So it's not a signal provider per se, you can make it into one, but it's more of a tool allowing you to analyze the strategies that you want using any indicator that you want to use. So a simple example is a cross of two moving averages. So the image on the right, uh, let's say for example, that a green cell will represent a bullish cross and a red cell would be a bearish cross. You know, the bullish cross is when the fast moving average moves over or on top of the slow moving average. And vice versa, the bearish cross would be when the fast moving average moves under the slow moving average. Uh, the example shown on the right, we're looking at a 15 period exponential, I mean, simple moving average compared to a 30 period simple moving average. So when we get bullish or bearish configurations across the board, then it can give us some information. So for whatever symbol or for whatever time frame that we want using these types of indicators, a scanner should be able to rifle through every single one of these and give us accurate data presented so that we can in turn rifle through the results and find a trade setup. D depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for a continuation of an existing trend, then you have an existing euro, US dollar, and euro pound uh, bullish signals. Uh, if you're looking for the bearish trend, then you're looking for the pound, the Canadian, or the Swiss. You're looking for the Canadian euro. You're also looking for the pound Canadian and so forth. So these are all depending upon what it is you're specifically looking for. I like the transitions. I like to see the key reversals. So those are the items where you start to see a longer term trend, and then you see the shorter term cycling in or out. So if you see a green pop up on a one minute, but your five minute is red, that can mean one of two things. One, you're entering a correction cycle, which can easily pop back to red and in line with the longer term trend, and you, you resume the longer term trade. Or if you see that after this turns green, that this turn starts to turn green itself, then you can see you have a, a pure reversal where it has not only churned on the one minute, but it's also pulled through and turned on the five minute. Those are key data points and information that you want to be looking for. And a scanner is a perfect tool to help you to do that. <clears throat> Excuse me again. So a scanner really does all this work for you. It should go through your symbol list. It should look for your trade criteria, whatever it might be using any indicator that you want and search for these types of setups. It frees you to focus more on the important things like managing the trade, getting your mindset straight, feeding the dog, you know, the really important stuff in life that you have to take care of while your scanner does all the work for you and then alerts you when a trade is set up that meets your criteria. So this example shows the EMA and price strategy where we're looking for price to be greater than an exponential moving average, that's bullish, or if price is less than the exponential moving average, that would be bearish. <clears throat> Excuse me again, I don't know what. But... <clears throat> that's kind of rude of me, I'm sorry. Um, the uh, symbol list can be any symbols that you're interested in trading. The time frames can be any time frame you have access to on your platform, either MT4 or MT5. It doesn't matter. So looking at this setup, you can see that the dollar Canadian is a strong bullish candidate, while the S&P and NASDAQ are very bearish at the moment. 
and the uh, <clears throat> the US 30, which is the Dow, um, coming from a longer term bull, looks like it will be transitioning into a full bear, just like the other markets are. The Russell all has already gone straight through. So that's the idea behind it, to give you the information when you need it and to constantly keep it updated for you to use. So th these are valuable tools that uh, we have at, at our access. Now, a lot of people ask me, why do I use multiple time frames, and what's what's the big deal about multiple time frames? Well, if you trade using multiple time frames, you have a higher probability of your trade ending in profit. It's due to correlation. Okay, it's one of the advantages of using multiple time frame technical analysis. Let's look at a quick example over here on the right. You can see the four hour chart. It has some corrections and some moves on it. But compared to the one hour chart, there's a lot more noise in the one hour with the corrections coming and going. But overall, it kind of moves in the overall um, envelope or trend of the longer time frame. If you look at the 15 minute chart, you can see the noise just really amplifies, but it still follows the same basic envelope. Okay. So if you're trading a 15 minute or faster chart, it would be in your favor if you were to take a trade in the direction of the longer term trend, avoiding these short, shorter term pullbacks, which are going to be a low probability to profit, while these were going to be much higher probability to end in profitable trades. So if you're using a scanner that goes through and looks for these types of trade setups where your trade meets your criteria and it's going in the direction of the longer term trend, then yes, you're going to have a trade that will have a higher probability outcome in your favor and a much lower risk because you're not taking trades against the longer term trend. You're taking them in harmony with it. So you're trading with much lower risk at stake. So the scanner that does that for you would be an incredibly valuable tool. Here's a quick example looking at multiple time frames, looking at a four hour chart, a daily chart, and a weekly chart. That's much longer time frame. So, if I had a scanner that could look for and scan for my specific criteria and to tell me when this setup is good, then I think I have a really good chance at a profitable end. This setup occurred right here at this point where I have the blue uh, lines. You can see I, I price has crossed over the 15 period exponential moving average. That's bullish. You can see that my MACD indicator has given me a bullish cross where the histogram has crossed over the signal line that gives me a bearish cross. And I'm using a relative strength indicator, 14 period standard, where I'm looking to see that the slope of the relative strength is bullish or positive. So if I, I have building strength coming out of an oversold condition, I want to see that as a bullish setup. So not only do I have strength and two different crossovers, those are bullish conditions. That's on one time frame. I need confirmation though, because many times I can see this same type of a setup on my charts, but I don't uh, get a profitable trade. And why is that? because I would might be taking it against the longer term trend. So if I look at the daily chart, the daily chart has also given me a bullish crossover on my MACD. And at the, at the location of this, you can see that I've crossed out of my oversold region and I'm trending bullishly so that I have a rising relative strength. That's what I want to see. And then on my final time frame, which is the weekly chart, I know I'm never going to get price action really to be over my moving average. I might or might not get a MACD crossover, but I sure as well better get rising relative strength. I need to see strength coming from relative strength, and it cannot be oversold. It's got to be moving out of that with strength. That's what I want to see. So my, my strategy needs to have all three of these, two of these, and this one all at the same time in order for me to take the trade. And when I get those all aligned, then that tells me that I can take that trade. In this particular example, the crossover 
having purchased at this one point right here, gave me well over 300 pips of profit in the trade. And that's the type of trades I like to see and set up. So by taking trades that are in harmony with the longer term trend, I get lower risk trades, I get higher probability trades. That's a powerful combination for any trader. It shows you the importance of using multiple time frame technical analysis in your trading. And a market scanner that uses this concept of multiple time frames can analyze it for you and present to you the setups and trades that it finds. That is also an extremely valuable tool because it does it all for you automatically. Well, you know, as traders, uh, we went out looking for a scanner that could do this for us. We wanted to find something that as traders could help us to find these profitable trades. We know that we're missing all the time. Well, we really couldn't find any scanners out there on the MT4, MT5 that met our criteria. What we did find was either too complex to configure, which meant, yeah, you had to have a programmer or programming skills in order to use them. They were unstable. Uh, or they were just single tools that really weren't in integrated with the entire system. They were incompatible with a lot of the indicators, especially third-party indicators that were available. Most people use lots of other issues that were there. So we decided to create MT4 Professional ourselves for our own daily trading. And now it's the number one market scanner on both MT4 and MT5. It's a tool that allows you to instantly scan the entire market for setups, that match your unique criteria and rules. When you find a good setup, MT4 Professional allows you to enhance that with technical analysis and multiple time frame analysis. And that's really not easy to do on standard MT4 or MT5, but it's still the strength that we provide for you. So stay tuned. I'm going to give you a live demonstration of exactly how we use MT4 Professional and how it's set up. And how you too can get it going on your own. So let me launch MT4 real quick and pull it up. Let me make this. A couple of things I want to show you is that we are in standard uh, MT4 mode. Um, I'm not using MT4 Professional right now. I'll show you that in just a little bit. I just want to show you what MT4 was like ahead of time to show you the uh, professional features that we've added. This is a setup, and as you can see, if I go to full screen, I've got a lot of extra space on my windows. And if I were to go F11 to a full layout, giving me full as, you know, full use of my real estate, I have to either manually resize my windows, this, and then move these around. And you can see they're not really all the same size. So I could just use the window uh, to tile them out and they size up, right? And that's okay. But when I go back and to my normal size window, Look how much of that's all been clipped off. So number one, either I have to resize them manually again, or I have to come back up here again and retile them. Now, that's not that bad if I have all the windows being the same size. But what if I have windows that are not the same size? Say that I have multiple windows that are here that just happen to be different window sizes. Okay. And I have them placed in specific locations. Nope. All right. Let me just demonstrate as quickly as I can. And now I want to resize my window. All right. How am I going to resize these? Okay. That's the fundamental problem. You, it's really difficult to do that uh, without, because if I were to resize this in any of these, then I lose all of my aspect ratios and I lose my setup and I lose my layout. And there's no way to automatically do that setup at all. But let me turn them back the way I found it. Okay. Second thing I want to show you. Um, if I wanted to do multiple time frame technical analysis, well, you can see I've got three time frames, 15, 30 hourly. If I were to look at this chart, then I can see that, okay, the uh, dollar yen, dollar yen, dollar yen, um, I can see that the 15 minute has found some pivot points here at this point. I can see support there, but notice how in the longer time frame that that support is really after a huge big uh, push up. 
after the uh, news last night. <clears throat> so you can see the peaks that have come in. So you can see them across them, but there's no way to get any real technical analysis of that. I have, I have to hit the middle mouse button. I have to look down here on my X and Y axis to determine at what location and time did that event occur? And where did these bearish volumes start coming in that gave me the opportunity to take this trade? Okay, so then I see that at that point there. Then I have to move over to this chart. Oh, where'd my crosshairs go? I have to go, and now I have to find it and remember the location that it occurred at and see where the bearish volume started to come in at. Then again, I have to go over here and do the same thing. So it's, it's a little bit cumbersome. And now I want to look at how's the euro yen compared with the dollar yen. Uh, so I need to go over and change the symbols. Well, I would like to just be able to click and it change it for me. But no, I have to physically drag and drop the symbol onto every chart. Just like that in order to do that. So, and then I've got to go through the same manual type of analysis. So this is a little bit of a challenge that's there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let me show you what MT4 Professional is all about. The first thing that you'll see is a very sharp, clean startup. Uh, you see the, the windows are cleared out, the scanner is all set up and ready to go. And, and it's asking you for a configuration. It says, where do you want to start? You have configurations which give you the ability to set up your charts any way using any indicators, anything that you pre-configured already. Just select what you're looking for and it'll pop it up. So I'm looking specifically for the EMA and price example. So I'll take and load that as a preset. The preset configuration is looking at price action relative to a 15 period exponential moving average. Well, <clears throat> I see that I've got two moving averages on here. So it looks like I've done a little bit of modifications in the background on this strategy. And I can see that... <clears throat> the changes are there. So what I'm going to do is click the select configuration and then the edit button. The edit button allows me to find out what it is that I've told the configuration to do in order to get the displays like they are. What is it that I'm looking at here? Well, before I do that, I'm going to close that out and see the indicators I actually have on this chart. Looks like I have two moving averages and the regular chart layout. Uh, the moving average is, uh, looks like a 15 period and a 50 period, a simple moving average. This is exponential and this is simple. Okay, that's good enough. And then it looks like I just have price. That Those are the only indicators that I've got on here. So let's edit. Let's look at the chart layout here. The chart layout is using the EMA price template. If I wanted to use a different template, just click the plus sign and I have access to all of the templates I have on my computer right here. Now, any of these can be backed up and utilized in the cloud, which is where this one comes from. The EMA and price is backed up in the cloud. And I also have a copy of it on my computer just in case something goes wrong. Um, so I can tell it whichever, which any of time frames, any template that I want to use. That's right here on the side. On this side, you can see is the scanner panel. That's what you see over here on the left, right back here. And from there, you can have any symbol or any rule set that you can use in order to define your scanner rules. So let's look at, look at the um, symbols first. Over on the left-hand side, you see all of the symbols that you have access to on your platform. Every single one of them are listed here. All you have to do is select one, click the right arrow, and it automatically gets added to the list over here on the right. If you don't want it, then you just click the X to remove it. If you have a list of symbols that are over here, you can pull those in as well. If you want to start from another configuration where you've already done all the work to put a, a nice symbol list together, then you don't have to rebuild the symbol list every time. Just pull it from that configuration and it'll automatically populate the list here. And when you're done, just click OK. I'll click Cancel because I don't want to make any changes. Uh, but go ahead and click the OK button to save your list. Once you've saved and updated everything, then make sure you click the Save button here 
and then close this window in order to save your configurations to the cloud. I keep mentioning that because MT4 Professional is fully cloud-based. That means that all of the configurations that you have not only are saved on your computer, but they're also saved in the cloud so that you never have to worry about losing data or losing any of your configurations at all. And also I wanna point out the share icon that you see in the bottom right-hand corner. By clicking that share icon, you can share any of the configurations that you have developed with any other uh, user on the MT4 professional network. Now, a lot of people work together as teams. And so this is the perfect way for you to develop a strategy and share it with your entire team so that everybody is on the same page at the same time as quickly as possible. Very quick and easy to do using the MT4 Professional um, Network. Now let's look at the scanner itself. The scanner configuration, these are the rules we're going to follow in order to cause the scanner color cells to change to the color that we want. So these rules we call color rules. A color rule is a, a rule that we say, if the moving average crosses over the slow 50 period moving average, I want to see a red or a green bullish or bearish signal on the five or the 15 or whatever time frame chart that I'm using. Those are the rules it's going to follow. So let's find out what that specific rule is. Now, you can see there's a, a rule here with a check mark by it and a small little edit pencil. The check mark just simply turns on or off the rule because sometimes you don't even want any rule on your chart or you might want to have different rules. So uh, you can have more than one color rule on any particular chart. So let's look at this color rule to see what it is comprised of. Now, before we said it's very simple and easy to use. So what we're doing here is we have a choice of pull down menus. So you have a pull down menu and these are customizable pull down menus, which means you can put any criteria that you want to inside of these pull down menus. So what the idea behind the rule is that it's going to look at condition set one. It's going to compare item A with item B using the operator here in the middle. These are logical operators which look at being equal, not equal, greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to. So these are all conditions that we're looking for. What this says right here, if you were to read this, is the close of price has to be greater than or equal to the 15 period exponential moving average. If this is true, and if the 15 period exponential moving average is greater than the 50 period simple moving average, if both of these conditions are true, then it's going to color the cell green, this color right here. Of course, you can change that color to be any color that you like, or just go to the wheel, make any specific definition color that you like. Standard is usually the quickest way to do it. If either or one of these are false, then this will be false and it will go through the or operator to this cell and start evaluating it. It'll look to see if the close is less than the 15 and if the 15 is less than the 50. If that's true, it'll color the cell red. If neither of these conditions are true, then it will color the cell yellow being the default color. Or if you mess up and you make a mistake in here and these neither of these are correct, then it'll usually make a yellow color showing you that every time it comes through, it fails. And you know that's not right. So it'll, it helps you in the debug process if you get your logic um, wrong. Once you have that defined, make sure you give it a name. Give it a name that you understand. It doesn't have to be a specific name, but it helps. And um, a name always helps in, in identifying your strategy. These are your strategies. So you can set these up to be any rule that you want to implement on the system. Once you're done, click the OK button. You can see that that main color rule can be applied to any time frame chart. If you want to add another time frame, just simply click the plus sign here. Notice that it adds a new time frame chart to the list. 
All you have to do is specify the time frame that you want. Well, one hour looks per perfect. Then I have to give it a color rule. I can assign the existing color rule to that time frame, or I can click the plus sign and add another color rule, one specifically made for a longer time frame. I want to hit the cancel button because I don't want to save any of these changes. You know, if you don't want that, you can always exit out and get back right back to where you'd come before. Once you've gone through and tested to make sure all of your color rules are correct, then the real-time notifications box can be checkmarked, which allows the system to notify you via email, uh, pop-up windows, via any of the MT4 or MT5 alert notifications, or even within the MT4 professional notifications panel. And you can also verify your phone number and set it up on mobile so that you get SMS messages as well. Once you've uh, completed and clicked the save button, okay, always save your configuration because what that does, it not only saves it locally on your computer, but it saves it to the cloud. And that's what you want to do. Always have it saved and backed up to the cloud. Close the window and click the load button. Always click the load button because any changes that you've made will not be reflected on your uh, platform until you click the load button. I'll click the load button to reload that in. I'm going to go and show you some of the advantages of using MT4 Professional. Now, notice the uh, crosshairs that I have on the screen. Notice how I'm on the 15 minute time frame, but yet it's staying completely synchronized across the 30 and the five minute charts all at the same time. See that? If I click it one time, it locks it into place so that I can move anywhere on the charts that I want to. Um, set this chart up here and move it around. I can take it out of the auto mode so that it's not automatically retracing back up. And then I can move it to any location, move it around. And then from this point, identify that same location and peak on all of the charts I'm looking at automatically synchronized. If I want to look at a different symbol, a single click on my symbol list will automatically change to that symbol for all of the charts that I'm using. Now notice that I have a smaller window set up here as well, and that these windows are all different sizes. I'm going to expand to a larger window. Notice how all of the real estate was a completely used and it was absorbed into the system. So I don't have to worry about resizing windows ever again because this system automatically gives me the optimal aspect ratio that I'm looking for. That's a nice feature. If I ever wanna get out of MT4 Professional or back into it again, it's profile managed. So all you have to do is select your profile, go to any other profile that you've set up, and then you will be out of the MT4 Professional environment. But then if you go back to the profile that has MT4 Professional on it, then you'll be right back into the system as it's been designed to be used. All right, so now we're seeing what these setups are, are telling us. It's telling us that in this particular case, you have a bearish five minute, you have a neutral 15 minute, and you have a bullish um, 30 minute. You can see it's bullish because you can see the fast moving averages over the slow. You can see prices closed up here over the slow. And so you can see that you got a, a, a red, yellow, and green case set up on that. No, nothing tradable there. It looks like it's in a state of transition. You want to try and find the ones that are giving you potential setups, like the S&P right here has been a pretty strong down move but we're looking at a neutral setup on the longer term because the longer term push uh, down has downside has been um, hesitant. So uh, with the previous close above, um, you can see that it's uh, temporarily not in agreement with what we're looking for. So we're looking for either longer term trends or we're looking for um, trade specific trade setup. So that looked good, but at this point, I don't see a trade setup for me. That's the idea behind it. All right, so I'm gonna pull up uh, another configuration that's a little bit more complicated to show you the, um, let's see, my MACD, there it is. 
This is one that's looking at a MACD uh, that I was showing you before. This is a four hour chart looking at a daily chart and looking at a weekly chart. So I'm looking for conditions where, in this case, I think I've modified it from what I originally did, but I'm looking for um, a price being greater than a 15 period exponential moving average. I'm looking for a cross, a bearish or bullish cross of a MACD and signal line. And I'm also looking for either bullish or bearish trend on relative strength, either coming from an oversold condition or uh, coming from an overbought condition. That's the idea behind it. And the scanner over here is going through and doing all the crunching for me in the background and displaying the results. So let's look at a quick uh, setup here to see what it is that I've asked it to do. Click the edit button, go over here under the scanner and let's click the scanner setup to see what the actual rules are. Now I've given the color rule the name strong signal. If I want to see what that strong signal is, and here's a good example of what multiple strategies or multiple color rules um, at the same time. You can see I have one of them turned on, the other one is not turned on. So let's click the edit pencil on the one that is the strong signal and see what it is, what are the conditions that need to be met in order for me to have a strong signal rule. I need to see a MACD less than, what, what MACD is it? MACD less than MACD, what is that? Well, if you pull the menu down, you can see that this is the MACD base indicator. That is the white histogram that you see over here on the charts. That's the base indicator of the MACD. The red line that you see right here is called the signal line. Okay, that's the second one. So if I have two instances of the MACD loaded, one of them is keyed, to the base indicator, the other one is keyed to the signal line. So this first one is the base indicator. It needs to be less than the MACD signal line. You can see right there, okay? And, well, this has to be true also. Price has to close less than the 15 period exponential moving average. And, the previous relative strength, the relative strength two bars ago, has to be greater than the current relative strength. So what does that mean, Randy? Well, if you look at the relative strength indicator, if I were to look at this point right here, that's current relative strength. If I were to look at the relative strength two bars ago, that would give me a different value. So if that value two bars ago is greater then the current value, well, the example I just now showed you is false because the previous value is actually less than the current value. Then this would not evaluate as true. What that tells me is the slope. If the previous value is greater than the current value, that means the slope is going down, it's descending. So if you use the simple rise over run slope intercept formula, then you've, you can very easily calculate this using these two point rules to determine during fixed time events, the slope of the relative strength. And that's what I'm looking for. I wanna see a falling relative strength, price two bars ago falling into the current price. That's what I wanna see. If all of this is true, then that is a bearish signal and I want to know about it by seeing a red cell. If neither, neither or any of these are true, then it evaluates this condition. It looks for that same MACD histogram to be greater than the signal line. I need to see the close of price greater than the exponential moving average. And I need to see a rising relative strength, which means the, clo the close of relative strength two bars ago has to be less than the current relative strength. If all of that is true, then I know that I have a green condition. I don't have any other conditions down here. Although if I have other conditions in my strategy, I can add them if I wanted to. If neither of these are true, then it's going to color the cell yellow, indicating that we're in a period of congestion or indecision, and the strategy is just in a holding pattern. Any questions so far? 
Now notice that I have these set up on three different time frames: four hour, daily, and weekly. The daily has the same strong signal turned on, but the weekly is off. If I were to go down to the weekly, well, yeah, you're right. Only the weekly will be turned on and the strong signals are off. So I'm really only looking for a trend on the weekly chart. So if I were to edit that rule, you can see that the rule for it is different than the other time frames. I'm only looking to see if price is greater than the exponential moving average. So if this price, like on the weekly chart here, is less than that moving average, this is a bearish trend. You already know that it's, it's trending down. It's a bearish trend. You want to trade with that in mind. If it's greater than, then you know you're in a bullish trend. Okay. In these periods of transition, you probably might or might not get signals. So that's why you have more than one signal to weed out any type of interference and to help you to stick with that. Okay, but you're looking at the overall trend direction. That's the idea behind that. Now you can make this anything that you like. Like the other rule that I had was instead of looking at the trend direction, I was looking at the slope of the relative strength on the weekly chart. If I know that my relative strength is declining, then I know that I'm setting up and getting ready to go into a bearish trend. If I know that it's rising, then I know that I'm getting ready to go into or am in a bullish trend. And that's the, how, the idea behind that. I never want to take a trade against the relative strength of my weekly chart. Questions? Well, this shows that you can use uh, multiple configurations. Now, the, the real question that gets asked over and over again is, well, how can I get a copy of this for myself? Okay, well, hang on. I can get that. Let me pull this up and go back to my presentation here. And I will make you a very special offer. And then we'll get right back into our presentation and uh, offers. So um, the MT4 Professional Software Suite is made for MT4 and MT5. So you get access to both of these platforms, the software, whether you're using MT4 or MT5 or both. You can use your choice to add either one of those to your existing configuration. You get access to our exclusive Skype community where we uh, have all of our MT4 professional users um, access to, to, to each other, to chat and to carry on as they so, so choose. We give you unlimited configuration storage, unlimited emails and push notifications, and up to 100 per month SMS notifications. If you go over more than 100 in a month, which most people don't, but if you do, then we do have uh, packages available for you to purchase additional uh, SMS notifications in that month. But if you don't go over 100, then they're um, already provided free of charge. Uh, Pre-configured presets, all 14 of the presets have already been um, included with your subscription. Now that's including the EMA and price, the MACD strategies, the relative strength and um, alligator strategies. All those strategies are already included with the professional platform. So for a limited time, we make that available for $194 a month. But because you're part of today's class, we've knocked that down by 50%. $97 per month. And you get a 14-day free trial to try and use the software, the full suite, full-featured software on your own computer. For 14 days, absolutely free before we start charging anything from your credit card. $97 a month is what the discount is. Um, it's not just for one month. It's not for a quarter. It's not for one year. It's a lifetime discount that applies to your subscription. If you cancel at any time, and you can cancel at any time during your subscription, then um, you lose the discount. So if you try to come back and get back in again, then uh, you'll start back in at the previous rate. So give us a try. Uh, today, mt4professional.com slash trial. Let me post that in the uh, chat there so that you can have access to that. So click on that, give us a, a, a try. They'll take you to our website and give you um, um, the ability to start your trial today. You do get 14 full days. If you don't like, uh, like it for any reason, you can cancel and you still have the full 14 days to try it out. 
Uh, a lot of people have done that. They'll say, oh, I don't know if I really want it. They'll come in, they'll cancel the first day that they start the trial. Then they'll find out uh, three or four days later, man, I love this. I, I, I wish I hadn't canceled. And then they end up calling us saying, okay, okay, come on. Can you uh, cancel it for me? I really want to keep the discount. And so we say, sure, no problem. Um, so, you know, we work with you. It's not a big deal. If you do ever need to contact us for any reason, then you can always send it to support at mt4professional.com. Then let me get a copy of that and post it there for you. There you go. There is the email support at mt4professional.com. And we promise within 24 hours, we will get back with a answer um, to your question. And if we can't get an answer, we'll definitely get back to you and let you know we're looking for it and we'll try to get it as soon as possible. All right, so let me pull my platform back up again. And I will keep the link available down on the bottom here for you guys just to look at that. Um, MT4 Professional um, gives you a lot of features that you normally wouldn't have on MT4. In addition to the SMS messages of your signals, you can take it with you because it's mobile. So what you do is you pull up your, um, your browser. Let me pull up my browser and show you an example that I would be looking for. So if I were to go over to a browser, and this is on my um, mobile device. So say that it's on my phone or my um, laptop or my iPad. Then all I have to do is go to mt4professional.com. Click on the sign in button. Of course, when you start your trial, you will get a, a login credentials and everything that you need. And it will take you to the MT4 Professional uh, members area. This is the members area of all the users who are in the system. And the very first thing that you see in the big blue bar on the top is the ability to download the software. This is the most current version of the software, either for MT4 or for MT5. You can download those by uh, clicking these buttons and installing them into your already existing MT4 or MT5 platform. Now, MT4 Professional is an addition to the existing platform. So that means that it doesn't run on its own. It requires the MT4 or MT5 platform already to be running. So we are a platform extension. We, we plug into and add features to the existing platforms that are there. We walk you through the onboarding process. It's a very simple and straightforward process. If at any point you need help, you can schedule a call with us right now. And we, we provide one-on-one um, -on -one, uh, help on getting you plugged in and started up. So that way you, you get up as quickly as possible without any issues and we get you going on that. Um, the documentation and help center is right here on check mark six. So it takes you over to our knowledge base. There you can find the quick start videos, the questions on how to install, upgrade, or use your system with various um, different um, settings. Um, how to use the configuration uh, selectors for the scanner, for the workspace, uh, how to set up and use scanner rules and examples, and even how to manage your billing and licenses. If your credit card changes, how to change that, how to unsubscribe or to cancel your subscription, and all the other information that you need is all available right here in our knowledge base. And you can see while you're in this area, you can also go to our ticketing system, that's exactly where you would go and enter a new support ticket or to check on the status of any ticket that you've already submitted. While you're in the home area, go over to the real-time scanner section. So let me move this out of the way just a little bit there. I want to be able to see the symbols and I want to see the scanners. Now notice this is, you're on your mobile device, so you're out. You can't stay at your computer 24 seven. So sometimes you've got to go out for lunch. You got to go and meet your friends. You're going to be going out and doing something, but you still have a trade on and you don't want to leave it abandoned or you're waiting for a setup that's just getting ready to go and you want to be notified when it's ready to go. Well, take MT4 Professional with you. Click on the real-time scanner link in your members area. Pull up the MT4 platform that you have on your account. Now you can have more than one account. Uh, so you can you can have a whole list of uh, different machines and accounts that are set up here. If you're the manager, then you can have them set up for all the people that you work with on your team as well. 
set that up. And what it does is it shows you the configuration uh, and the scanner output for the current setting. Now, this is live. It's real time. So any changes that occur on this chart will be updated on your live mobile version. So this is as mobile as you get. Any system that you see that sets up that looks like it's giving you a potential trade setup, like the Aussie Swiss right now, all you have to do is click on it here with your finger, just touch it on your um, mobile device, and it will automatically go to your platform, change the symbol, and then provide you with a snapshot of that so that you can see why you have a potential setup. And if it is, then from this point, you can automatically contact your broker, initiate your trade, or to give instructions on how you want that trade to be done. So you don't have to worry about it. So within 30 seconds, maybe 45 seconds of identifying a trade, you can have that trade on and be on your way. And you don't have to run back to your office just to as initiate and to satisfy that. So you've got it all in one location. Speaking of snapshots, all of your snapshots are implemented and saved within the same um, um, system and is backed up in the cloud just like your configurations are. So any of the configuration tests or things that you've saved can be set up as either private or public and shared, tagged, and identified specific to your setups. Now, this is one that I've set up that is private. Now, you can see here's one that I've set up that is um, public. So this is one that I want to share with my friends. So it gives me a link. Once I copy that link, I can share it to any of my social media platforms or on Skype or wherever I'm chatting with my friends to give them access to the system. So it's very, very mobile. So you, you can tag them and organize them, check them out any way that you want to. Um, and it's all right there. If you do get notification while you're mobile, then right here under the notifications panel, you will see um, the straight notification here, and it'll be blinking to let you know that you have a, a notification that you can click on in real time, tells you the time frame, the symbol, and what the scanner setup is for, and it'll give you those things. And if you see over on the right, there's an announcements panel to let you know whenever we update the software uh, so that you can always uh, download and keep yourself um, up to date. Okay, well, that's about it for that. So do you have any questions for me? Is there anything that I can set up for you based upon your own specific criteria in the uh, last eight minutes that we have together today? Very quick and easy to do. A lot of people ask me, is, can you use this with third-party indicators? Absolutely. There, there, is very, there are very few indicators that are out there that do not work with the system. You can see the alligator, there's the cobra, um, there's the Hawkeye. Um, Hawkeye is a, a well-known third-party system, uses a volume uh, to identify trends. So using these setup, you can identify where multiple time frame alignments occur, where entry setups give you nice setup entries, like on the Euro US dollar right now, the one two different signals for shorts um, have already come in. And you can see across the board, the Euro US dollar has a five, 15 and 30 minute signal for a short setup. And you can see exactly why um, it did that. So th those that's the idea behind it is it lets you know ahead of time uh, the configuration that's there, whether you're using your own indicators ones you've written yourself or whether you're using third-party indicators that you purchased, uh, you can set them up and use them inside the configurator uh, to, um, to give you the rules and the setups. Now notice, you can see that I have three different signals given in one time frame. Here, I only have two signals and one, here I only have one signal. So you're not limited in any way on how complex or how simple that you want to have your strategy implemented. If you need any help setting up your implementation, then we do provide uh, you with our time and our expertise to help you to get going uh, for a small fee.
um, because some of these uh, configurations can be a little bit lengthy. Uh, and so um, it does take our time to do that. So I do need to pay my programmers uh, time to, to help you to get set up and to make sure that um, the rules that you asked us to follow are actually good rules uh, and that they're uh, based upon the existing um, setups that you wanna see. And we do provide coaching as well. So if you need some help on trade coaching or other aspects uh, related to trading, then we can help you with that as well. So again, to get started uh, on your trial today, right now, uh, click on the link below, mt4professional.com slash trial. Let me see if I can, nope, that's wrong. There's an email again. And let me get the uh, link up. There it is. There's the link. I trust everyone can see that. Because I haven't gotten a single question today. So number one, that means I've done a really good job. Number two, I've talked a little too fast and I might be over your head. Or number three, you just don't know what questions to ask and you're hoping that I cover the information uh, so you don't have to worry about asking it. But I hope it's one of those. Or number four, my microphone's not working and you can't hear a single word that I'm saying. I don't think that's the case because I would have had quite a few other people coming in. Oh, I finally got one question. Thank you. Uh, how to get data for Indian markets. Um, you, you get your data from your MT4 or MT5 broker. So just set up an MT4 or MT5 uh, account with your broker ask them to provide you with Indian data, Indian market data. And they will provide you with that setup if they can. So find a broker, a brokerage that gives you access to either MT4 or MT5 and ask them to give you Indian market data. Kindly explain in brief the multiple time frame. Okay, let me go back to my chart here. Okay, if you're looking at different charts and you're looking at multiple time frames, then you're identifying the nature of the faster time frames relative to the slower time frame. All right. So when you see a 15 minute time frame, for example you see that there's a lot of choppiness that goes on. Price will correct and go back into the longer term trend many times within that period of time. But overall, the overall longer term trend remains in one direction. Now, it, the price, if you look at the price bar by bar, yeah, it's going to continue to go up and then it will correct, and but it will continue to go up and it'll correct. But within that envelope, you're going to have multiple changes. So the faster time frame you use, the more noise that you're going to see overlaid on the system. So if you're trading on a faster time frame in the direction or in harmony with the longer term trend, then probability dictates that you're going to have a higher chance of a profitable trade if you're trading in the direction of that longer term trend. That's the idea behind multiple time frames. Uh, more questions? You're very welcome, sir. All right. Well, I don't think there are any other questions coming in. I've given you guys uh, plenty of chances to ask and to find out what's going on. So uh, if you are our existing MT4 professional users and you have questions with regards to the system or the applications, let me know that as well. Be glad to help out.
the, uh, the tools and the software that I show on the system are not included with the platform. The, the platform is the environment that you see here. Um, all the indicators that are shown are either existing indicators on MT4 or MT5, and or they are indicators that I have separately purchased myself, uh, which are not included uh, with the um, application. But we do give you a full featured MT4 or MT5 uh, professional interface. Does MT4 support all global markets? Um, some MT4 brokers do, yes. You'll have to contact your MT4 brokerage and ask them what markets they do support. Be it, the, the examples I've shown have mostly been Forex, but the other ones I show um, are CFD type instruments that give you access to not only uh, Forex, but to uh, futures markets, uh, to um, cryptocurrency markets, uh, to other different markets like uh, the um, London Exchange or the um, Australian Exchange. Um, you can see um, all the different um, markets, um, the commodities uh, that you have access to. So um, I don't have on this platform, I have access to most of the futures markets, but I don't have access to the individual stocks on those exchanges, you'll have to contact your broker to see if you can have access to individual stocks that are on the platforms themselves. All right, then, thank you very much for your time and your attention. We have these live uh, interactive sessions every two weeks on Monday at the same time. So thank you very much for your attendance. This has been recorded and will be made available to you through email in a couple hours once, the, once it's compiled and ready to go. We'll send it out to you with an email. So thank you very much. Have a great rest of your day and your week, and we'll see you this exact same time in two weeks. Bye for now.